We're speaking on the anniversary of Russia's invasion mm -hmm. of Ukraine. Can you take a moment to reflect on that anniversary? You went to Ukraine last I year, did. met with President Zelensky's wife. Uh, and you were you? with me. Yes, you I know was. when we went and we saw her, I mean, it was just such an emotional moment um, to see her and then to go into that school and talk with the mothers and the children who had, who had been underground for weeks and, and they didn't have food and they were afraid to go outside. And um, you could see the children in the, you know, how kind of um, shy they were and, you know, downcast. And you could see the effect of war on the children. And I think we thought then, gee, you know, how long can this go on? And here we are a year later, and look at what the Ukrainian people have done. I mean, they are so strong and resilient, and they are fighting for their country. And uh, I just, you know, we're all hoping that, um, you know, that this war is over soon because we see every day the damage, the violence, the horror on our televisions and we just can't believe it. Can we take a moment now and have you just reflect a little bit on uh, former President Jimmy Carter, mm. what he means to you, the Biden family, um, share a fond memory of him? We went to their home uh, in Plains, Georgia and visited with them. So it's, you know, it's not just that here are two presidents, it's here are two friends. So now, you know, pretty emotional time, I mean, uh, because look at, look at his legacy, you know, look at their legacy, what they built together. And um, I just think they're both really just icons. They're just, you know, I just admire both of them so much. I've heard you say on several occasions that the worst three words anyone can hear is the phrase, you have cancer. Mm -hmm. So can you Tell us a little bit what was going through your mind when the doctors said to you that the lesions they removed were cancerous. Uh, well, it was a little harder than I thought mm -hmm. um, to hear those words, of course. I mean, I heard them for so many members of my family. And, um, and I, you know, I just thought, oh, it's just something on my eye, you know. But then they said, no, you know, we think it's basal cell and then they found and I said well before we go out of this appointment I also want you to check you know on my chest and and they said that's definitely basal cell so I knew I had to get it removed and uh, so I, I'm lucky yeah. believe me I am so lucky that they caught it mm -hmm. they removed it and um, and I'm healthy